Well, David, it's a pleasure getting to speak with you, and we appreciate you joining our show. Um, I'm excited to talk about some football with you, but to, first of all, chat about this really cool new position you have with Scouting America. So you were an Eagle Scout growing up, and you just joined as an official Scouting America ambassador. And it really does seem like a really amazing opportunity. So for you, how did being an Eagle Scout growing up help you to develop those certain skills? Um, and why do you think it's such a special opportunity for the younger generation? Yeah. Um, well, I, I am an Eagle Scout right now, and I'll be at each shop for the rest of my life. Um, so I think me being able to to be able to kind of harness and be able to consume and embrace that role for myself and understanding how important it was for me and it, it helping my character and create my foundation for myself, I think that's the, the most important key for me in understanding how I'm, how big and what it meant for me in my life um, to create like a, this man that I am today. And I think for, for other kids, understanding that it brings a, a beautiful perspective on life and it also teaches you things that yeah, your parents can teach you, but like the guys and the, the other kids around you who are going through the same thing can teach you some things also. Um, you meet a different group of people and they're, they're loving and accepting and they're unapologetically themselves. So yeah. if I could tell any kids anywhere, I think that they should definitely take that shot, take that jump and trying to join, you know, scouting. And, and if you don't know where to go, I do. You can go to, uh, you know, be a scout.org. And, um, go join and learn some more stuff about scouting and uh, get more involved. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the opportunity. This world is never short, I feel like, of others giving their time to help the youth. So so congratulations on that. Um, you know, between your role with them, your life outside of football, you being a star running back for the Detroit Lions, you seem like a very busy guy. Um, and I would love to, you know, of course, chat with you about your year so far with Detroit. Um, between the duo of you and Jameer Gibbs, it's really, really cool to see. I know your productivity is very similar, but your running backs coach recently said, um, uh, Scotty Montgomery mentioned how stylistically you two are very different. So I'm curious what you think that difference is between you and Gibbs when you look at yourselves play. Yeah, I think the obvious difference is we just play a different kind of game. You know, um, Ja is special in his own light and I'm special in my own light, but I think... Um, the difference that other people don't know about either is like how we are off the field. Like I'm a big vet, but like I'm pretty serious all the time. And Jameer, he's like, he's young and he's goofy all the time. Like <laughs> I've never seen Jameer not laughing or not like making a joke or making everybody else, you know, laugh. And then you look over to me and I'm a serious guy. Sometimes like <laughs> he helps me lighten up and help me laugh a little bit. Or sometimes he got to be serious. He made me serious a little bit more so. I think that's like what I know outside of like the obvious of how we play the game, like how we are for each other. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Scotty also talked about how we haven't even seen what y'all are capable of accomplishing yet. So I'm curious how important that is for you to have someone rooting so hard for you, holding you and your guys to such a high standard, especially when we see running backs around the league fighting for more pay. And you've got this guy who's really trying to help you get to that level where there's no question about it. So how important is that to have someone in your corner like that? Yeah, I think it's super important. Um, Scotty, he, <laughs> he a different kind of dude. You no, know, he is very passionate, and if he cared about you, he cared about you. He willing to go to um, the end of the plank for you. And um, being able to have somebody like that who care about you and not really being related to you or not knowing you for a long uh, period of time, it shows like the kind of the guys, the kind of people, the kind of staff that you know they they're building here in uh, Detroit. And to know that I got somebody who care about me in the game and for the game, but somebody who cares about me even more outside of me playing football, I think for me, like that's something I always remember in my life and my son will know this guy. Yeah. I want to ask you about the, uh, the Lions hangover. So every team you've played up until this point has suffered a loss the week after they played y'all. So I feel like you guys must really be beating opponents up this season or get, putting them through the ringers. Is, is that what you guys, uh, <laughs> have you guys noticed this? Uh, I hadn't heard about it till you said something. Like, <laughs> it's uh, true. 
Yeah, we really just be focusing on us and trying to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And I think um, with us doing so, you kind of get lost what's happening outside of you. Like, we, we always focus on the team that's in front of us and focusing on our task at hand. And, um, yeah, so, I, I mean, I, I hope that continues. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, y'all are coming off a of bye week, but you've got a few really tough matchups coming up between the Cowboys and the Vikings. How nice did it feel to get that mini break from game day? And also, how are you feeling about that game plan heading into uh, the Cowboys matchup? Yeah, I always uh, feel pretty good about our game plan. Ben Johnson does a great job preparing us and make sure that we know everything that we know so we can be prepared uh, for the game. And they sacrifice a lot of time away from their families. Like, it's a lot of coaches who sleep there. Like, it's crazy. It's just, you know, some stuff that they go through. So I'm appreciative of those guys. And, you know, Ben putting me great there. A, a game plan that works for us. Um, and I think we're not really looking at, like, anybody outside of, like, who's in front of us. Um, so right now we just focus on the Cowboys. We know we got a tough schedule ahead of us. But right now um, we can't get to the next team until we handle the team that's in front of us. So that's what's important. Right yeah. Every Cowboys fan is going to want to see the team finally win at home and try to upset y'all. So I say this kind of tongue in cheek, but why are Dallas fans out of their mind in that respect for thinking that they might upset y'all? I don't know. Man, I'm not giving that any energy. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on us and we're going to handle our business and be the best person of ourselves that day and um, see where the ships may fall. There you go. Um, you mentioned not looking too far ahead, um, but following this game, of course, it's the Vikings. And no doubt, I feel like that's going to be a really cool game to watch because it's really going to show if the Vikings actually have it together or not against the strongest competition in the division, which is you guys. And I believe you could speak very well to this, but seeing Sam Darnold thrive in many and the whole team doing what they need to do to win these games and the same for your team and Dan, what makes a coach a true leader and someone who really helps to make their team greater than just the sum of its parts. I think being able to hold like the best players um, to the same level of accountability that you would hold to any other player on the team. Um, knowing that like no one's not, no one's untouchable. You know, everybody got to do their part and everybody got to do their job. And if you don't, you'll know about it. You know, I think that creates another level of um preparation like for us and you as an individual you try to get yourself ready for a week knowing that everybody's counting on you so it's important and i think that's the most important thing that coach campbell displays to us and he's a player's coach you know he cares about the guys he cares about the players you know he wants the best for us and however we think that'll help he's always open to help and to to make it more beneficial for us for sure Last few questions here for you. So if you had to describe your team this season so far in one sentence, what would you say and why? Uh, oh, I said one sentence. That's a good question. I'd, like, I'd probably say the team, we are a group of guys who experience downfall but through the downfall has sights on the upcoming. And I only say that to say that we've experienced failure. We've lost an NFC championship. We felt short. Um, and we've been in that moment and we know how it feels. But now that we know how it feels, we know what we need to do to never feel that feeling again. I like so, that. And I think that uh, that's the best way to describe it. That's a inspiring me over here and I don't even play football I'm like let's go um last question for you David but um obviously you guys are well known for your Thanksgiving games but I have to ask you what is your favorite thing about playing on Thanksgiving and how do you make the most of being apart from your family because um you know I myself too don't always go home for Thanksgiving so I know it's kind of tough but I can only imagine you know playing in front of tons of people on Thanksgiving and you've got this game plan and, and all this, but how do you make the most out of that moment? Uh, just being thankful for those guys who sacrificed their Thanksgiving and beer. Or I, mean, <laughs> I look at it like I'm not the only one who feels that way being away from their family at Thanksgiving. Um, and I know that and those guys around me feel the same way. So it makes us want to play for each other even harder. And it, and it also understands like 
it allows me to be grateful for the family that I do have and understanding that I'm blessed and I'm supportive.